In just a minute, we'll know whether today's Belmont Stakes sees an historic finish. And as Lee Cowan shows us, a woman who's already made racing history was there for the start. When it comes to horse racing, there's no instrument that trumpets the pageantry of it all, quite like the bugle. Sam the Bugler Grossman has been sounding the call to post at Belmont Park for the last 22 years. But it's not only the potential of a triple crown that makes tonight's race special, it's who will be bugling beside him. She's just perfect. She's great with people. She plays the horn great. She looks great. And I, I have challenged her to be always fabulous. Her name is Beth Ann Dixon. Not only an accomplished musician, but an accomplished horsewoman, too. I mean, I'm so comfortable in breeches and a riding jacket because of fox hunting. It feels like it was destined. She grew up playing the trombone, sort of the bugle's cousin, a few times removed. It was a loud instrument. I was a pretty quiet kid, and uh, it allowed me to have a, a louder voice. But as much as she loved horses and horse racing, she never put her lips to a bugle until last year. On paper, it doesn't look complex. Playing it and tonguing the notes and making it come out exactly spot on, that takes a technique and a skill, and um, I'm honing that skill. Beth Ann became the first woman bugler to blast the call to post at the Preakness a few weeks back, and tonight she'll do it again. With a triple crown at stake, California Chrome isn't the only one feeling the pressure. I'm just going to breathe and not choke. <laughs> really focus and think on, I don't want to blow that note wrong. This is too important. It's heavy. It's a bit heavy. <laughs> While fans held their breath, Beth Ann blasted hers. Her twin passion of horses and music, neck and neck. Lee Cowan, CBS News, New York. And this update, California Chrome faded in the stretch and did not win the Triple Crown.